What's up, everybody? This is Elder Stacy Zanders. In this segment, we're going to be talking about bouncing back from a fall in life. And whether it's a setback, failure, or a challenging period in your life, it requires you to be resilient. It requires determination and a positive mindset. And here are some steps to help you recover from a fall and move forward. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you 11, 12 steps to, to, that will help assist you in that recovery process. Number one, accept the situation. Acknowledge and accept what has happened. Avoid dwelling um, on self-blame or negative thoughts instead of understanding the situation realistically. Accept the situation. Life happens to everybody. It's, it's coming for all of us. And you're going to have some setbacks. But accept what has happened. Do not live in denial. Number two, learn. It's very important to learn from the experience and reflect on what led to the setback. Identify lessons learned and how you can grow from the experience. Every challenge presents an opportunity for personal growth and learning. So you can become victorious and not be a victor and not a victim. Three, stay positive. Cultivate a positive outlook. Focus on your strengths and remind yourself of past successes. Positive thinking can help you maintain motivation and resilience. There's a scripture that says tribulation works patience. Patience experience, experience give you hope and that hope make you not ashamed that the love of God will be shed abroad in your hearts. So experience, if you've overcome before, you can overcome again. Always be the victor and not the victim. We have too many people playing the victim role when we need to just take responsibility, accept, learn, and stay focused. Number four, always set realistic goals establish achievable short-term and long-term goals and break them down into smaller manageable steps. And this will help you regain a sense of direction and accomplishment in life. Five, take action. Start taking small steps towards your goals. Progress might be gradual, but each step forward counts. Consistent effort can lead to significant progress over time and it builds your self-esteem. It will build your confidence. Six, seek support. Can't stress this enough. All of us need a basketball team around us, baseball, football, hockey, soccer. We need a team around us that can help us. So surround yourself with, a, with supportive friends and family um, and mentors, people who can help bring you up to where they are. Taking, uh, or sorry, talking to someone you trust can provide valuable perspective and encouragement during very difficult times. Seven, adapt and be flexible. You always have to have the mentality where you have to adapt or adjust. If you've ever played sports, I mean, if you're a leader on a team or anything like that, you have to learn how to ad ad adapt. If you're on a football team and um, the defense shows they're set up in one defense and they switch it, you may have to run an audible or different things like that. Change the play. So be flexible, be uh, adaptable and be open to adjusting your plans as you need to. Sometimes unexpected opportunities or changes in directions can lead to new paths um, and better opportunities for yourself. Number eight, always remember to take care of your, your yourself, take care of your mental, take care of your mental, take care of your physical and engage in activities that bring you joy whether it's going out painting, playing golf, playing basketball, just relaxing, taking a walk, take care of yourself. This will also aid in you coming back from a fall. Stay persistent. Persevere through challenges and setbacks. Resilience often comes from persistence and the ability to keep going, even when things seem too difficult. 10, forgive yourself. Too many people are too hard on themselves. Be kind to yourself. Understand that you're going to take losses in life. You have the win, the W, and you have the L column. Sometimes we're going to suffer loss. It's just a part of life. Forgive yourself. Get up. Move forward. Dust yourself off and stay in the game. It is crucial for healing and it's a crucial for your growth. 
focus on solutions. Instead of dwelling on the problem, challenge that energy into finding solutions. Become a thinker. See, we live in a world where they don't want you to be thinkers. They want you to be followers. And sometimes you have that followers or that victims mentality or mindset, you don't focus on solutions. Followers don't focus on solutions. They're just told what they need to do. So lead, you have to lead in your own life. You have to lead yourself and you have to focus on solutions to the problems that you have and approach these challenges with a problem solving mindset. 12, celebrate your progress. Any small victory is still a victory. Acknowledge and celebrate even small victories along the way. Recognize it. your progress can boost motivation and confidence. And remember, setbacks are a natural part uh, of life and overcoming them builds that resilience. Embracing challenges and opportunities for growth and learning can lead to a personal development and a stronger sense of self. And I want to say to you that you are more than a conqueror through him that loved you. And God says we have a treasure in our earthen vessel that the excellency and the power may be of him and not of ourselves. The Bible also says, God says, I know the thoughts that I think of you, the thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you to to an expected end. This is Elder Stacey Zanders. Hang in there. Until the next time, as always, God bless you.